Today we're going to talk about uh, cup holders and how to install them on the motorcycle. Uh, they're a very handy accessory, both not only for your uh, drink, your water, uh, soda, coffee, but they're also handy for sunglasses, cell phones, things like that. Uh, on these cup holders are also quickly removed uh, from the motorcycle. The holder itself, uh, and even the bracket installed, when you don't want it on the bar, you can take it off, put it in your saddlebag, uh, and not have it there. So the cup holders are available in several styles. Uh, first, let's talk about the finish. It's available in chrome or also available in a leather wrap version. Uh, then there's two basic styles of mounting. One is the split clamp, which of course goes around the handlebars, for your tubular handlebars, and that's designed to fit all size handlebars, inch and a quarter, it comes with spacers or reducers to fit one inch and seven eighths handlebars as well. The other style is what's called the switch mount. The switch mount goes to any handlebars that have a split switch housing on it with two screws that pull the two halves of your switch housing together. Uh, it comes with both screws for metric bikes and for American bikes, Harley Davidson, Victory, etc. Basically, uh, you remove the two existing switch housing screws and uh, you use the longer screws with the plate, the spacers, to pull, space it off of your clamp housing and then put that together on the switch housing on your motorcycle. Uh, once that's installed, uh, there's a spacer and holder for the cup holder itself. The cup holder has a keyhole slot, as you'll notice in the back, and the back of the spacer uh, here on the cup holder has got uh, two ends to it. It has an oval or slotted end. It has a round end. With the round end on the cup holder installed, it allows the cup to split pivot or swivel 360 degrees. Now that may be good on a passenger armrest that pivots up and down, but most of the time for the driver, we're going to want to use the other end, this oval end. And what that does is prevent the cup holder from pivoting it around 360 uh, or in a circle so that when you have a tall bottle of water or drink in there, that it doesn't turn upside down and uh, dump your drink out on the street. So we're going to assemble that with that oval end uh, by the head of the screw. And uh, you'll see that that fits into the keyhole here like so, and that's what keeps, when it's tightened down, that's what keeps your cup holder from spinning around in a circle. Keep it nice and straight there. Also available is a combination set cup holder, and this is available either with the split clamp or with the switch mount style, either style. It comes with the chrome cup holder. You also get an insulated stainless steel coffee cup and lid. It hooks right on to the mount with the keyhole slot. You also get a cell phone or GPS holder as well. And this has uh, both a Velcro pad that you can put on the back of your GPS to attach it, and it includes Velcro straps that you can run through the slots and around your device and uh, hold it on there. So you can have the clamp of your choice, one clamp or one mount, and you get all three accessories with it. So that's something you might want to consider as well. We're going to take this over now and we're going to talk about installing this next. We'll on a motorcycle with a split clamp on a tubular handlebar and then we'll do one that's got the plate mounting. 